This video is on electrophilic substitution. There are just two aims in this video. Firstly, to be able to draw the mechanism for the nitration of benzene, including the production of the nitronium ions. You need to know both equations um, in the production of that iron. And to draw the mechanism for the acylation of benzene using an aluminium chloride catalyst again, um, you need to know the, the equations for that as well as the mechanism. So the nitration of benzene uh, requires the following iron, the NO2 plus iron, that's called the nitronium iron. And that is created um, via the reaction of concentrated sulfuric acid and concentrated nitric acid. And what that creates is H2NO3 plus plus H SO4 minus. What then happens is the H2NO3 plus iron breaks down into NO2 plus plus water. So there is our NO2 plus created via this via this reaction. Now the mechanism involves that and it'll involve a benzene ring as well. Now, it doesn't matter what else is on the benzene ring, it'll still react. Um, so there's the benzene ring, and you're going to be reacting that with NO2+. Plus. And you'll notice that the electrons are in this benzene ring. Okay, So the arrow is arrow's going to go from this ring to the NO2+. Plus. Remember, arrows always go from where there are electrons to what needs the electrons. So it's going to go from the benzene ring to the nitrogen because that's what's going to be bonded to the um, the benzene. What is then made is the following iron. Now the benzene ring has broken, and it doesn't matter which one of these uh, carbons you put the nitronium ion on, but I'm going to put it on this one. But what does matter is how you draw the benzene ring after doing that. Now the benzene ring must go, in this case, like that. So you must not go beyond these two carbons. And then that benzene ring is going to be positive. Well, in fact, that's not going to be positive charged. The carbon here is going to be positively charged. And then what happens is there's a hydrogen also on this, and that bond, the hydrogen, is bonded with, um, quenches that positive charge, if you like. And what is then made is plus H plus. So there's just a couple of things to remember here. Firstly, the arrow goes from the benzene ring to the nitronium ion. And then you've got to be really careful when drawing the um, partial ring, the ring that's been broken in the benzene. And then you've got to remember that the hydrogen that is attached to the carbon that has just been attached to the nitronium ion, uh, that bond there breaks and the electrons go back into the ring to reform the benzene ring in the final product. The other reaction that you need to know involving benzene, um, which is also electrophilic substitution, is the Friedel-Crafts um, substitution, or Friedel-Crafts acylation, which is involves um, the aluminium chloride catalyst. And basically what you do is you either have um, an alkyl group, so say, say CH2, CH3, attached to chlorine, or you might have an acyl group, attached to chlorine, like this one. And if you react that with aluminium chloride, what happens is... Sorry, I'll redraw that. What happens is this aluminium rips this chlorine, or this chloride ion, off this molecule. The reason for that is because aluminium is electron deficient. It only has six electrons in its outer shell, um, because it only has three electrons and an atom in its outer shell, therefore it can only make three bonds. And then three pairs of electrons by the three bonds only adds up to six. So it has a, has a space where two electrons can fit. Um, and so the fact it's electron deficient means it's quite reactive and it will rip these chloride ions off if given an opportunity. So if we just um, if we draw a mechanism involving this acyl ion here, or this um, acyl group here, so if I just delete it all and start again, What's going to be made is Al. We're going to start with AlCl3. We're going to react that with ClCoCH3, and what we'll make 
is ALCL4 minus and COCH3 plus with the positive charge on the carbon there. What will then happen once um, this reacts with the uh, benzene ring, which I'll show you a bit later, an H plus is created, and then the H plus ion will react with the AlCl4 minus ion to form AlCl3 again plus HCl. And so this AlCl3 is a catalyst because it's being um, reformed at the end. This H plus ion is made during the reaction of the acyl ion with the benzene ring, which I'm going to show you now. You need to know the mechanism for that reaction. So again, we've got a benzene ring, and we've got C double bond O, CH3, which is made in the previous um, reactions. Again, the electrons are in the benzene ring, and the positive charge is on this carbon. So the electrons are going to be drawn towards that carbon, so the arrow is going to go from the ring to that carbon, and it's very similar to the nitronium um, ion reaction, if you like, um, depending on where you put uh, your group, you need to make sure that the partial benzene ring does not go beyond these two carbons. You put positive charge on that carbon, then this H that was on the carbon originally, the bond will break, quench that positive charge, and then what you create is the benzene ring. This is the same as this. It doesn't matter that I've moved this round here. All I've done is rotated this molecule, so that's the same thing. And you'll also make H+, plus, which you remember was um, present in the second reaction with um, AlCl4- uh, Cl4 minus. Um, and so that's where the H+, plus comes from for that. I hope that's helped. Please email me if you have any more questions on electrophilic substitution.